for the entrance let us take him number a73 on page 31 In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in worthy manner. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. I offer this Mass for the intention of Christoval and Lorena de Monte Furtado. They are keeping their wedding anniversary. Let us pray for them in this Eucharist. Let us also put forth our intentions and prayers before the Lord. Let us also pray those who are celebrating their birthdays, their wedding anniversaries, those who are sick, suffering, lonely. especially for the peace in the world. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always confirm our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenant of the promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, you, who once were far off, have been brought near 
by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility. By abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in the place of the two, so making peace and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, the Lord speaks of peace for his people. Please repeat. The, the Lord, Lord speaks, speaks of, of peace for, for his, his people. people. I will hear what the Lord God speaks. He speaks of peace for his people and his faithful. His salvation is near for those who fear him and his glory will dwell in our land. Response, the Lord, the Lord speaks, speaks of, of peace for, for his, his people. people. Merciful love and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have kissed. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Response, the, the Lord, Lord speaks, speaks of peace for his, for his people. people. Also the Lord will bestow his bounty, and our earth shall yield its increase. Justice will march before him and guide his steps on the way. Response, the, the Lord, Lord speaks of, of peace for his, his people. people. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. <coughs> Hallelujah. all times praying that you may have strength to stand before the Son of Man. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At this time, Jesus said to his disciples, Stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning, and be like men who are waiting for their master. 
to come home from the wedding feast, so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will dress himself for service and have them recline at table, and he will come and serve them. If he comes in the second watch or in the third and finds them awake, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, there is one thing that we can say about life, and that is it doesn't usually happen as planned. We may make a to do list, but at the end of the day, if we can get half of it done, it can be considered as accomplishment. We may even plan to do only one thing, and yet we may not even manage to get it started on it. That is because life is full of surprises, and more likely than not, we may not be that delighted about it. So when Jesus tells us to be dressed for action, and to have our lamps lit, it means one thing, and that is we are to be prepared for surprises. But when we see these surprises as promptings from God, then we will know that God is going to show us something wonderful. And with prayer, our hearts will recognize these surprises as revelations from God. And we will also understand that where life do not go according to our plans, that God is planning something much better for us. So let us hold fast onto the Lord and live our life with full trust in Him. Let us pray for the same grace in this Eucharist today. For the offering, let us take hymn number B23 on page 73. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you we have set, set us, us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with francis our pope philip neri our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them to the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints that preached throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs with in our life i may praise and glorify you for your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and from by divine teaching we dare to say our father, our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm Lord not I'm worthy not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof. but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. For communion, let us take hymn number D117 on page 153. Understand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that be fitting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepare for the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear br brothers and sisters, a gentle reminder about the tomorrow's program as in our church. Uh, Wilkim Cross and the portrait of Mary will be visiting. So those who can come in the evening at 5 o'clock, please do come and participate in the Mass and in the Rosary.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Number C, 17, on page 81. Yes, it does.